Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, it will be a small talk with some uh, visual uh, pictures. And uh, let's start, I guess. Okay. So, uh, this talk will cover up uh, general information about DevOps and then tools for DevOps. Jenkins, compute, uh, continuous integration with Jenkins, advantages of it, and uh, there will be a small example of one of our build chain. Uh, okay. So, uh, what is DevOps? Uh, DevOps simply it's like uh, development and operations, and which is not no longer exclusively separate roles within the IT department. Today, DevOps engineers reshape the way IT teams operate, improving collaboration between developers, sysadmins, and testers. Uh, they also improve deployment rates, defect detection, and feature delivery. Essentially, it's rooted in the idea that building, testing, and releasing software uh, can run more smoothly and automatically uh, if the appropriate team uh, of professionals is working together. Uh, but in this uh, presentation, I would like to focus more on continuous integration tool, Jenkins. Uh, we will look at key advantages of uh, Jenkins as well as how to do continuous integration with this tool. <coughs> so, um, software development process can't work efficiently without right tools. Uh, similarly, in the case of uh, DevOps, you can always benefit from the right set of tools. Uh, these tools help in information sharing process automation, reduction in deployment time, and in continuous deployment, etc. Uh, the DevOps tools can be uh, categorized in seven groups, uh, depending on its purpose in the particular stage in the DevOps cycle, life cycle. Uh, it will be code, uh, build, test, and then uh, package, I mean, uh, release, and configure and release, and infrastructure, uh, which means like uh, uh, we can use uh, Docker, Swarm, Kubernetes, some sort of platforms, and monitoring. So uh, let's go with the main part. Uh, what is Jenkins? In today's DevOps world, uh, continuous delivery uh, and de deployment are critical to delivering high quality software products. Uh, uh, and we need them faster than ever before. And uh, Jenkins is an open source uh, continuous integration server written in Java. Uh, it is by far the most widely used tool for uh, managing continuous integration builds and uh, delivery pipelines. Uh, it helps developers in building and testing software continuously. Uh, it increases the scale of automation and quickly gaining popularity in those circles. Uh, one of the key advantages of Jenkins is that it requires little maintenance and uh, has built-in graphical user, user interface tool uh, for easy updates. And then uh, Jenkins also provides customized solution as there, uh, there are over uh, 400 plugins uh, to support building and testing uh, virtually any project. Um, basically, Jenkins integrates development lifecycle processes of all kinds, including build, document, test, package, stage that we uh, discussed before previous slide. 
So uh, with Jenkins, uh, you can configure uh, alerts in uh, several ways. For example, uh, uh, you can receive email notifications, pop-ups, etc., and actually automate on it. Uh, by implementing the right configuration, uh, you can get almost immediate feedback. Uh, you will always know if the build is broke or not. You will get to know what the reason for uh, a Jenkins job fail uh, was, and you can also get to know how you can revert it back. So it's basically uh, alerting logs immediately. So, uh, let's imagine a scenario where the complete source code of the application was built and, and then de deployed on the test server for testing, which is in this case LibreOffice. Uh, uh, first, uh, let's imagine the scenario like uh, first a developer commits the code and to the code repository. And then meanwhile, the Jenkins server checks the repository at the regular intervals for changes. Uh, in some cases, which we are using currently, uh, code repository can generate uh, an event that can uh, catch code by uh, Jenkins, so it triggers itself. Uh, soon after a commit occurs, the Jenkins server detects the changes. Uh, that uh, ha have occurred in the source code repository. So uh, it starts building. If the build fails, uh, then the uh, related uh, team will be notified if it's the in that way configured. Uh, if the build is successful, then the Jenkins deploys the build uh, in the test server and so on. Uh, what are the advantages of a particular cycle? Uh, let's see of it. Uh, it's open source and it's user friendly, easy to install, and uh, does not require any additional installations or uh, components. Uh, it's free of cost. Um, Easily configurable, uh, Jenkins can be easily modified and extended. It deploys uh, code inst instantly, generates test, test reports, and can, conf can be configured according to the requirements uh, for uh, CI system and CI delivery. And it's platform independent. Uh, Jenkins is available for all platforms and different operating systems, whether OS X, Windows, or Linux, um, which has a rich plugin ecosystem. I mentioned before it's over 400 uh, plugins uh, out there, and they are maintaining it. Uh, the extensive pool of plugins makes Jenkins flexible and allows building, deploying, and automating across various platforms. Easy support because it's open source and widely used. Uh, there are lots of guidelines on the internet. Uh, and, um, and it's uh, easy to monitor uh, because it's, it has understandable uh, graphical user, user interface. So, um, Okay, and this slide I'll talk about, uh, let's say, uh, most of the integration work is automated, hence of fever integration issues. Uh, this saves both time and money over the lifespan of the project. So, uh, uh, this is uh, a screenshot from our uh, internal Jenkins. Uh, it seems like a bit different because it has team feature in it. And I will uh, put this, I did put this uh, 
simplest uh, build chain to show you what uh, can be done easily. So uh, it's an example, a real example of uh, one of our build chains. Uh, currently, this chain is capable of pushing, uh, publishing uh, ready-to-use distro packages started with whenever a merge event occurs on a specific branch in the uh, document foundation scared. Uh, the published uh, multiple Collabora Online minor version uh, snapshot packages is uh, currently accessible by our customers. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, in the internet you can find that uh, Jenkins is very easy to uh, collaborate with uh, Docker uh, platform. But um, uh, in our Jenkins we are using uh, slaves with uh, Linux containers named as LXCs, uh, you know, uh, and Linux containers in conjunction with Jenkins is uh, having a profound effect on the development uh, teams. Uh, and LXC streamlines development and makes deployment vastly easier. So uh, I don't know if you can see those, but let me show live. If I can, I'm about to finish the presentation. Okay. Oh, it works. Here. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, we have those slaves, except Windows. Uh, it's actually the machine itself, but it's containerized. Uh, it uh, allows us to uh, build uh, our packages on a different platforms uh, simultaneously. It's like. Uh, in five minutes, we have uh, 10 distro packages after boot finished. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Yeah.